Welcome to this week's webinar, Importing Student Photos. Today is October 25th, 2023. And I am with Amy Bemis today, and she's going to help me with this presentation. Amy, would you like to say hello? Good afternoon, everybody. All right. And Amy, where do you live? I am in southwestern Iowa in a little town called Dunlap, about an hour from Sioux City and an hour from Omaha. Oh, fun. I'm sure yeah. the, the trees are starting to change there. They are beautiful this year. We're really fortunate. Good, good. Yeah. Well, again, my name is Denise Drew, and I will also be here today with you for this webinar. So we're going to be talking about importing student pictures. So let's make your school photo management process a breeze. Today, we're going to learn how to efficiently export photo files for your school's photo company by running a student list. We'll guide you through the process of seamlessly importing student photos into JMC Office and explore the advantages of having student photos readily available in JMC Teacher, JMC Office, and JMC Admin App. First, we're going to create and export a student photo file. Streamline the task of bulk uploading student photos to JMC by initiating the process with the creation of a photo file. This file can be shared with your designated photo vendor, who will subsequently furnish an imported file comprising both student image and corresponding student details. JMC has taken the complexity out of this process by providing a ready-made student photo file on the attendance student list page. So you can effortlessly export this file just by going there. So first thing you need to know is to make sure that you are logged into a building. If your building has an elementary building and a high school building and a middle school building, you will want to do this process at the building level. So again, you log into JMC office and navigate to the building that you're going to start with, then head to attendance, student, list to export a CVS file to provide your photo vendor. Super easy, attendance, student, list. And then you can select the photo file right here under the reports. That's your step one. Select the student photo file. JMC has already downloaded that for you. And here is the information right there. This is what most photo vendors want. If your vendor doesn't want, say, date of birth, you can just click on it and delete it. So you can adjust this the way your vendor wants it. Step two, you select the ranges from the who you want in the report type drop down list to include all students in your school in the photo file. Step three, select include active students only. That way you won't have a whole bunch of non active students in your database for that. Step four, click the preview button to view the student data in the export, in the report, I should say. Then step five, you click the export data button to download the CVS file to your computer for sharing with your school's photo company. Helpful tip, add a file name to your download CVS file. For example, my school's 2023 photo file to easily locate and share the photo from your computer with your photo company. Step six, you do this by building, do this for every building, and then you follow your photos vendor's instruction on how to successfully share that information with your photo company before they come to take the pictures. So let's take a live look at creating and exporting a student photo file. We head into JMC, pick out your building, again, we don't have great data material here. We only have one building, but I would first log into the elementary if I had different buildings. Then I would head to attendance, student list. Simply click on this box, find your preloaded student photo file, and there's all the information. And if you want to delete something, you can just click on it and click the X. If they want it in a different order, you can click on it and then move it up or down. This is a really handy feature. And then you can make sure that you have active students only selected and then click your preview button. Super simple. 
and then your export data. So click that button and you can see it's downloading up here. And let's see if it's loaded. There it is. So I can just easily rename it by calling it, um, let's call this vendor photo file 2023 fall. That way, when I go back into it, I will be able to, to identify the file super easy. All right. Are there any questions at this time, Amy? No, there are not. All right, we will just continue on then. Adding vendor photos for students in bulk. After obtaining your student photo file, the designated photo vendor from your school will generate a CSV file comprised of student photos that correspond to your student data. Easily incorporate this file that is provided by your vendor into JMC Office, enabling the displays of student photos via the point of sale portal, JMC mobile apps, and with your within the attendance and gradebook modules in the teacher. Super handy for everyone to be able to see the picture of the student. You select the appropriate building from the switch building dropdown list and head to the file administrator option page to upload a student photo file from your vendor. Step one, you click the import student link file link in the student photos box to access the two-step process for uploading student photos. Step two, you select the button in the step one box to access the student photo file in your computer. And that's the step one box up there. You select that and then this will pop up. And then you're gonna use student files in a compatible format, JPEG, JPEG, PNG, or GIF to successfully complete the import. Step three, you select the student photos that you would like to import into JMC and click the open button to begin uploading them to your JMC database. So the first export that I did, I should have put elementary building, but again, we only have one building in ours, but you would say, you know, export to vendor elementary building, export to vendor middle school. And then you'd do the same thing as you're importing. So make sure that you identify the correct files and open. Step four, you click the choose file button in the step two box down here. To access the student linking file you receive from your vendor. Step five, select the student linking file that you would like to import and click the open button to begin uploading your JMC database. Fun fact, the student linking file cannot exceed two megabytes or raw photo file of 172 by 228 to import the data more effectively. So step six, you click the start import button to begin the photo to student matching process. And that is just so simple. The page will display the ongoing process of the photo student matching file. To ensure the, it's uninterrupted matching, please remain on the page until the process is finalized. Step seven, repeat the previous steps for each building. Fun fact, once you've successfully uploaded the student photos to JMC Office, they will need to be accessible for viewing across the point of sale, JMC Teacher, and JMC Mobile Apps. JMC Point of Sale and teachers, Teacher users can head to the Preferences page to show or hide students in their, at their discretion. So let's take a live look at adding vendor photos for students in bulk. We head to the, now this is after, you've already sent out your information to the photo place. And then it's picture day. They, you have to do that well before picture day. And then they'll take the photos. And then once their photos are brought back to you, which could be sometime later, then you'll get an email from them with your student photo file. This is where you go into administrator options, import student photos, head to step one, and you collect, you click uh, the select under the step one, and you would want to make sure that you've got a 
JPEG already, and I should have one in here someplace. Let's see. Whoop, that was a JPEG. Okay, this one would be great because it's it's not it's not gonna let me do it um, because this is this is just a, um, a page that that is a dummy site, so it won't actually upload it for me. And then we go to step two. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Then we go to step two. And we, I lost my train of thought there with that phone call in between. <laughs> and then you select your phone, your linking file, the linking file that you had already sent to them. And then you start your import. Super simple. And do we have any questions, Amy? We're good right now. Okay. <laughs> you might well, have a question on your phone call, but you don't yes, have Yes, I might. <laughs> I apologize about that. I usually close that down, but that I didn't happened. do that today. <laughs> Adding a photo for an individual student. Sometimes a student will join your school after um, photos have been taken, and you'll want to just take a photo of them, you know, with your camera or something and upload it. So JMC offers a convenience convenient access to student photos on the View Student Data page, particularly when there's a need to individually add or update photos for a specific student. If the student missed picture day, you can easily attach a photo to their profile on the photo tab to ensure an up-to-date up image. This updated photo will then seamlessly appear in the JMC Teacher, Point of Sale, and JMC mobile applications, aiding your team in easily identifying a student. So in JMC Office, you head to the View Student Data page and navigate to the Photo tab and add or update a student photo. Step one, you select the student needing a photo by entering their name in the Find field. Step two, click, click the Change Photo link to begin uploading a photo for the selected student. Step three, click the select button to select the student photo that you would like to import into JMC and then click the open button to begin uploading them to your JMC database. Step four, you click the save button to update your changes to the student photo. So let's take a live look at this. Let's, let's hope the phone doesn't ring this time in the middle of it. Uh, simply head right here, go to the photo page. Uh, this one already has one. Let's see if we can find one that doesn't have one. Oh, so cute. You could tell we've used this program a few times. There we go. There we go. So click on that, select your photo. Um, let's see if I can find a JPEG that I can import here. Um, I should have had this already, but I didn't, of course. Do I have a JPEG? Mom outside, two adults. Well, let's just grab one of these. This is a smaller one. So I'll take this one, open. There we go. That's our photo <laughs> that we're putting in there. It's as simple as that. Um, super easy for you. And then you're going to want to save as well. Is there, are there any questions at this time? There are not, Denise. All right. So that is it for uploading student photo files. Pretty easy. So for the JMC news and upcoming events, we've got take a closer look at JMC messaging tools on the 19th of October. And then the first week of November is already coming around the corner here. And on November 1st, we have our summer conference new features review round two. And on the second, we have Wisconsin State reporting new features review. That will be very important for everyone from Wisconsin to join us. On November second, or the week, uh, second week in November, on the 8th, we're going to keeping on top of activities, compliance, reporting. And the third week in November, we have the new admin workshop number three. Also on the 16th, we have introducing JMC collaboration tools. So now through March 20, 2024, we're offering schools a discount to refer their friends. For every school that you refer to JMC that signs up for our software, we'll give 
each of your schools a $1,000 scholarship for your district. Any questions, email our sales team. Let's take the next step in the Community Message Center. No, let's take the next step in getting to know the Community Messenger Center as we show you how to create targeted group subscriptions. You take advantage of the message tracking and analytic, analytics demonstration, how community members can manage their own accounts, customize group account settings, and more. So join us on October 26th. That's tomorrow. So do you have a new superintendent joining your district? Well, that's super exciting. Now you need to have them join us for our new administrator workshop series. And I told you that was the third week in September. So we will email you this uh, PDF presentation and you can simply click on there to have your new administrator sign up. So be social with us. Another great way to stay up to date on all things JMC is through our so -so social media presence. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn at Online JMC or our blog, jmcinc.com backslash news. On behalf of Amy and myself, I'd like to thank you for joining us today and have a wonderful rest of your week.